Hello, this is Tori with Landio. I'm excited to bring you this fishing and hunting paradise that adjoins nearly a million acres of public land that is only an hour from Casper, Wyoming. This property literally has it all. This is an actual view from the property here looking at the Pathfinder Reservoir. You have rock formations, you have trees, you have varied terrain, you adjoin public land. I mean, this property is just amazing. You have amazing rock formations on the property. You have great views of rolling terrain to the west. And then there are lots of trees on the property. And the entire western boundary adjoins a nearly a million acres of public land. And that public land includes BLM land, which is yellow, state land, which is blue. You have orange, which is the Bureau of Reclamation, which is around the waterways. You have green, which is national forest, and pink, which is wildlife refuge. Then you're just a short distance to the Pathfinder Reservoir and the North Platte River. Up here you have North Platte River's Fremont Canyon, which we'll show you photos of. These are images of the Pathfinder Reservoir, which is a 22,000 acre lake. It's known for its uh, colossal walleye, trout, and carp. There are numerous professional fishing tournaments during the summer. And it's also home to Wyoming's largest ice fishing derby in the wintertime. And then just to the north, you have the North Platte River. And this is the Fremont Canyon area of the North Platte River. So we're going to show you some photos of that. So you have these beautiful fall colors. These photos were taken just recently. And there you have the Fremont Canyon. So you have these really high granite cliffs. So there were some people that were out there fishing in the Fremont Canyon. And then you're only about 18 miles to the world-famous Miracle Mile. So the Miracle Mile is actually a 5.5-mile stretch of the North Platte River that's fed by the Seminole Reservoir. It's an extremely fertile tailwater where there's approximately 4,000 fish per mile. So there's lots of trophy trout. And then these are some images of that Miracle Mile area. There's a plaque there at the location of the Miracle Mile. This is an actual view of the Miracle Mile. And then you're just a little over an hour from Casper, Wyoming, and the Casper International Airport. Now, Casper is the second largest city in Wyoming, has a population of around 60,000. And this drive to Casper is almost all paved road. Right after, right about right here, which is here's our 40 acre property right here so from here all the way to Casper is all paved road and here's a view of that paved road and then this is where that paved road ends this is Pedro Mountain Ranch Road to the west there that we see and this is looking then into Pedro Mountain Ranch Road that'll take you back to where the property is at now there are electricity lines and poles already in place along the property Here's another view of those electricity lines and poles. And then there are easements in place, 40-foot wide easements for ingress, egress, and utilities. You can see here's, the, here's where that paved road ends. This is Pedro Mountain Ranch Road that we just saw in the photos. It turns into Rocky Gap Road just after you pass over this creek. And then here's a closer view. You have Pedro Mountain Ranch Road right here. And then as you cross over that creek, it changes the name to Rocky Gap Road. And you can see all around this area that many of these landowners have developed their properties. They have you know, homes, cabins, uh, ranches. They have accessory buildings. And I will take a closer look at the public land that this property adjoins. This is the entire western boundary of the property adjoins all that public land. And contiguously, as you navigate throughout that area, it's probably over a million acres of public land. And this public land here has a creek running through it called Canyon Creek. This is a topographical map of that same image, just showing you some of the terrain. There's the Canyon Creek identified as well. You can see the, the roads identified there. And then here's a further expanded view showing that vast amount of public land that this property adjoins. So it's a highly desirable attribute to adjoin that much contiguous acres of public land. And here's that same image just in a topographical view so you can see the colors a little better. They stand out a little more. The yellow being BLM land, the blue state land. Orange is for the Bureau of Reclamation. You have the green national forest and then the pink is the wildlife refuge. So the elevation on this property is varied. At the low point, it's about 6,450 feet. And then at the peak at that southeast corner, it's about 6,780 feet. And then from the property, you also have a view of the Pedro Mountains. So the Pedro Mountains are near the property, run all along this area, and that's public land as well. Now that we've covered the surrounding area and the location of the property, we're going to go into detail on looking at the images actually of the property from the property. So again, you have view of the Pathfinder Reservoir from the property. Here's another image where you can see the Pathfinder Reservoir. You have the 
mountains all around the property. So this is south of the property looking north and to the north you have the Alcova Reservoir. This is that picture of that same view. So now we're looking north. You can see there's that farm that was in the last image that we just looked at. And here you are again looking north on the property. There's a closer view of that farm to the northeast. So here we are now in Google Earth. So in addition to all these amazing rock formations and trees that you have on the property, you also have a lot of land that's just a gentle slope. And this would be great spots for building a home, a cabin, a ranch. And you can see that what other landowners will do, and we'll look at this in future photos, is they will build the kind of tucked up right against the, the rock formations at the base of the rock formations. Now we're on the property looking south. There's the rock formations that are at the southeast corner of the property. Another image looking to the south, lots of trees, rock formations. So here we are west of the property looking east. There's the farm to the northeast to give you some perspective. And then this is on the property looking east. Now we're east of the property looking west. These are the Pedro Mountains. This is Rocky Gap Road right here. This is the Pathfinder Reservoir that we see. And then this is on the property looking west. And I love how those trees just grow out of the rock formations like that. It's almost like a postcard. It's extremely desirable to be so close to all these amazing attributes. Many of the landowners have developed their properties. They have homes. They have ranches. Uh, they have mobile homes. Uh, they have accessory buildings. Here's the farm that's just to the northeast. We can look at some satellite images of some of the nearby properties. This is that uh, mobile home that we just looked at. And then you have other people that will have different types of buildings. Like here's you know, another one where they have accessory buildings, kind of a main home there. They have you know, smaller homes, varying sizes. You know, here they have a, a big setup where they have you know, some accessory buildings. They have some sort of like lake pond they have going on there. It looks like they have some corrals. And they just tuck that home right up there against the, the rock formations. Here's another one where they just kind of tuck that home right up under there. And then here's another landowner that built right against the base of those rock formations. And there's just breathtaking landscapes and nature all around the property. And there's amazing wildlife all around this property. There was pronghorn antelope on the property while a photographer was out there. There's deer that were in the area. This is the Alcova Reservoir that's just to the north. It's only about 14 miles from the property. So this is the interactive map that we have on our website. And just to give you some perspective, this is the property right here in green. This is the Alcova Reservoir to the north that we just saw. Then you have the North Platte River, and this is that Fremont Canyon area that we just looked at. This is the Pathfinder Reservoir, and the Pathfinder Reservoir extends down here, and now we're back on the North Platte River, and then the North Platte River, this is the area of the Miracle Mile. So you can drive right up to the Miracle Mile from the property. It's only 18 miles from the property to the Miracle Mile. Then the North Platte River continues. Now you have the Seminole Reservoir. And then you have the North Platte River continuing down through here. And if we go here and turn on our map legend and then turn on the federal and state lands, you can see all around here. I mean, you're just surrounded by millions of acres of public land as far as you can see. So we have many additional photos on our website. We have over 100 photos of this property on our website. And these photos, the photos that you see, these were photos that were taken by us within the last few weeks actually of the property in the surrounding area. In addition to the fishing, there's amazing hunting in the area. This is the Wyoming Game and Fish Department's website. And they have these maps which are very useful. This is the elk hunt map. The property is located in area 16 for elk hunting, area 48 for antelope hunting, area 70 for deer hunting, area 8 for mountain lions, and then you have uh, the pheasant hunting area which is number 11, and then the sage grouse area which is number 1. So we showed how you're only about an hour from Casper, and then to the south you're only about an hour and 50 minutes to Rollins, Wyoming, you're about two and a half hours to Laramie, Wyoming. You're about three hours and 20 minutes to Rock Springs. You're about three and a half hours to Cheyenne. Now Cheyenne is going to be the largest city in Wyoming, population around 100,000, with Casper being the second largest city. Then you're only about five hours to Denver, Colorado. So we have this property price at just under 100,000 for the 
40 acres. This is one of a kind property. And then all the property details are listed here on our website. We've included excerpts from the covenants here along with a link to download the covenants and easements in a PDF. The Wyoming Office of the State Engineer's website has a well permit search tool. And what we did is we went and searched the section that the property is located in along with neighboring sections. And we located several wells that were successfully drilled. The water depth of those wells range from only eight feet to 45 feet. So you have very shallow water depth there. And we have these well logs here that you can download in PDF and look at, as well as a link to the Wyoming Office of the State Engineer's website. Here is a water well permit application. And then here are instructions for completing the water well permit application. The property taxes are only about $171 a year. And then we have links to all these nearby points of interest where you can find additional information, along with over 100 photos that were all taken recently of the property and the surrounding area. All these photos are labeled in detail, and then we also have included an interactive map. If you'd like to purchase this property while it's available, you can go to our website, you can click on this Buy Now button. What that'll do is that'll add a deposit of $499 to your cart. Then click this Checkout button right here. That will pull up this window where you can then enter in all your information and then continue through the checkout process. Once that checkout process is completed, we'll receive an instant notification that your $499 deposit has been made. We sell our properties on a first come first serve basis. The $499 deposit is credited towards the purchase price and we cover all of the closing costs. If you have any questions, our phone number is on the top of every page of our website, 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. We have a live chat feature right here that you can try to reach us in real time. We try to be available as often as possible. If we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message. We'll respond to you at our next availability. You can also fill out this contact form on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. Our family sincerely appreciates you taking the time to watch this video, to visit our website, to look at our properties, to ask us questions. We really enjoy the engagement. And it's very rewarding to see how many people are interested in our properties and how quickly they sell. We are working tirelessly to bring you new amazing properties. And the thing that enables us to do that is your willingness to view this information and to share it with others. I ask that whether or not this property is for you, if you would please share this information with all of your family, friends, and colleagues, it really means a lot to us. You know, with one click, you can share it with all your friends on Facebook. You could forward on the emails that you receive from us. All of that interaction enables us to continue bringing you new amazing properties. This is truly a labor of love. And from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you on behalf of myself and my family. And may God continue to bless you and your family in all areas of your lives.